Okay, here we've got some sequences and nth term exam questions. These are aimed at foundation students, so that's going up to grade C GCSE. I'll we'll start with some really basic sequences here, very uh, fairly low level questions, and then we'll build up to some more complicated ones, especially the nth terms. With all sequences, we really should start by looking at what's happening between each term. So here we've got um, each time we go up one, we're adding three, so the next number is going to be 19. And that's actually the first question. Write down the next number in the sequence, which is 19. Write down the rule for continuous sequences. Now, the rule for continuing is just what you're doing each time, so nothing more complicated than add 3 each time. Okay, we know a sequence 800, 400, 200, 100. Now, it's no good seeing what's going on here because we take away 400, take away 200. It's not the same thing, but we should spot the fact that we're actually dividing by 2 each time, or halving, is more commonly known as. So divide by 100 by 2, we get 50, which is the next term of the sequence. Write down the rule for continuous sequence. We can have to write divide by 2. Or we could put half each time. Show that term sequence are not all even. Well, all the ones so far are even. So if we carry it on, half of 50 is 25. And because 25 ends in 5, that's not even. So next term is 25, which is not even, but odd. Okay, another question. Another uh, question here. The first two terms are 2 and 8. We've got a rule to continue the sequence, which is multiply by 3 and add 2. This is called the term to term rule. So as I'm moving from one term to the other, I'm multiplying by 3. 2 times 3 is 6, and then I'm adding 2 to get 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Add 2 is 26. 26 times 3 use a calculator for this, um, it's going to be 78 plus 2 is 80. So the next two terms of sequence are 26 and 80. The terms term rule for a different sequence is multiplied by 2 and add 4. Now this question is worth 4 marks because this is quite tricky. But to, get, uh, to go from this term to this term and then this term to this one, we are multiplying by 2 and then adding 4. Multiplying by 2 and adding 4. Now we could try lots of different values, um, but the actual answer for this is not going to be a nice number. So we need to really work backwards. So if we're times in by 2 to add a 4 to get to this one, to get back the other way, we need to undo what we've done. So we need to take away 4, and then to undo times by 2 we've got to divide by 2. So 6 take away 4 is 2, divided by 2 is 1. And do that again. Six, uh, 1 take away 4 is minus 3 and minus 3 divided by 2 is minus 1.5 or 1.5 ok so we're going from 6 take away 4 equals 2 and 2 divided by 2 equals 1 and then we're doing 1 take away 4 is minus 3 and minus 3 divided by 2 is negative 1.5 or 1.5 so the answer is minus 1.5. You'd probably get uh, half the marks of getting to 1 because you're doing getting halfway there. OK, here's a sequence. Um, again, always look to see what's happening here. So we're adding 6. Adding 6 is staying the same each time to add 6. Write down the rule for continuous sequence. So to continue it, I add 6 each time. The 50th term of sequence is 302. What's the 48th term of sequence? Well, if I'm starting over at 302, each time I'm adding 6. So what must I add 6 to to make 302? Well, that's the same as taking away 6 to get 296. 6 off 302 to 296. Take another 6 off. 
that's 290 and this is the 50th so this is the 49th and this is going to be my 48th term okay so my sequence working back from 50 take away 6 take away 6 gives me the 48th term equals 209 90, sorry, 290. Write down the rule for the nth term of the sequence. Okay, so this is the first time we've seen this nth term idea. Now the nth term is the rule if I want to know any particular number of sequence, say if I want to know the 50th term and I didn't actually know it was 302, the nth term rule will allow me to put the number 50 in and know what to do to that to find this 302. Now this is this is quite a routine method once you see what it is most times the most common wrong answer here is to just do because we know it's add 6 each time is to think it might be n plus 6 but that's wrong what we need to remember here is because we're going up by because we're going up by 6 each time this is based on the 6 times table which is this sequence okay the 6 times table 6 times n n times 6 or more properly written as 6n. That's the best way to write it. Um, so that's the 6 times table. What I've got to do to the 6 times table to get to this particular sequence, well I've got to add 2 each time. Add 2 to 12 I get 14, 2 to 18 I get 20, and that works for every number in the sequence. So 6 times 50 is 300 plus 2 is 302 so it's the 6 times table 6 times n plus 2 I can write that as n times 6 plus 2 more uh, clearly written as 6n plus 2 what you mustn't do is to write n6 plus 2 that would, that's, you know, that would lose you the mark for that part there's one mark for the, the plus 2 and there's one mark for the 6n Okay, another sequence, first two terms 5 and 4. The rule is multiply the previous term by 2 and subtract 6. So times 5 by 2 is 10, take away 6 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, take away 6 would be 2. Um, 2 times 2 is 4, take away 6 is going to be minus 2. Minus 2 times 2 is minus 4, take away 6 is minus 10. What's the actual question? But the work the, here's this work out the first negative term of the sequence. Well the first negative term is minus two. For two marks. Here are the first three terms in, an, in another sequence. Um one, four, seven, so this is going up by three each time. So the nth term of the sequence goes up by three each time. So that means it's based on three n, three times table, three times n. If I write 3 times table above the sequence, I can see that I then need to subtract 2 each time. So all these numbers, 3 times table, take away 2, gives me the sequence I want. And that's that one there. OK, another sequence. This time it's going down by 5. It's taken away 5 each time. The next number in the sequence is going to be 10. 15 take away 5 is 10. The rule for continuum is subtract 5 each time. You could just write um, take away 5 or minus 5. Uh, which of the following expressions is the nth term of the sequence? Well, because it's going down minus 5 each time, this is based on the minus 5 times table. So if I write that out just above there and see what I've got to do to that to get to here, well, minus 5 plus 5 is 0 plus 35, so that's actually plus 40. I'm adding 40 to 10, minus 10 to make 30, 40 that's the, is 25, and so on. So my rule is the 5 times minus 5 times table plus 40. Okay, but that isn't here. We've got 5n minus 40, um, or we've got 40 minus 5n. Now 5n plus 40, I'm sorry, minus 5n plus 40. This can be rewritten if I can switch these round. So long as I keep the sign with the number, so the 40 plus 40 and minus 5n, that gives me this one, because 40 is plus 40. Okay, one well, more we've got to draw a pattern, draw the fourth pattern. So we've got two, one, two, three years going that way, so 
we're going to make that into four U's going that way and then coming down one, two, three and one more makes four number of matchsticks, well I could count those but this is a very straightforward sequence it's going up by four each time so that's going to be fifteen and that's going to be nineteen uh, the number of sticks in pattern N well it's going up by four each time so that's the four times table oops, let's, I'll put it there, let's put it down here four, eight, twelve 16 and you can clearly see I've got to take away 2 that's the 4 times table 4n and this sequence is 4n 4 times table times table take away take away 1 4 take away 1 is 3 8 take away 1 is 7 so it's 4n minus 1 there we go okay one more question now this is part of a question um, sometimes this sort of question is embedded inside other questions uh, I'll just quickly run through this first part. Two boxes are stacked. This is the height of 68. Then we get three boxes. The height is 76. So this is building up a sequence where each time I put a new box in, it's going to go up eight. So one, one of these um, would be 60. So it starts off at 60. Then it goes to 68. Then it goes to 76. Then it goes to 84, and so on. So it's adding eight each time. So this sequence is not n plus 8, which you might think because it goes up by 8 each time. It is based on the 8 times table, because it goes up by 8 each time. It's based on 8, 16, uh, 24, 32, and so on. Now what have I got to do to this 8 times table to get these numbers? Well I need to add I need to add 52 each time. 8 plus 52 is 60, 16 plus 52 is 68, and so on. So this is 8 times n, or n times 8, or 8n, plus 52. Now there'll be two marks here, one for the 8n part, and one part for the plus 52. There we go.